In this lecture, we are going to learn how to check if a given square matrix is lower triangular or not. So first of all, let's try to understand what is a lower triangular matrix. So if the matrix has to be a lower triangular matrix, it has to have two things. Okay, first thing, this matrix must be a square matrix. You should be knowing what is a square matrix. Square matrix is a matrix wherein number of rows is equals to number of columns. If the number of rows is n, number of columns should also be n. So it should be a n cross n matrix. Okay, if number of rows are four, number of columns also must be four. So that's a square matrix. Okay, now that's the first thing for a matrix to be a lower triangle, it should be a square matrix. And the second thing is all the elements above the main diagonal must be zero. Okay, all the elements above the main diagonal of that square matrix, if it is zero, that means if both of these properties are qualifying, in that case, we say that the matrix is lower triangular. Let's take an example. So in this example, the first matrix, if you see here, it's a four cross four matrix. So the first property satisfies, it's a square matrix. Okay, if you see, this is the main diagonal, right? And all the elements above the main diagonal, if you see, they are zero. We are not concerned about the elements below the main diagonal okay we just look at all the elements above the main diagonal are zero so therefore this qualifies to be called as the lower triangular matrix similarly this is a matrix example number two three by three so it qualifies to be a square matrix all the elements above the main diagonal are zero so this is also a lower triangular matrix so now we are going to build up our own logic to check if a given square matrix is lower triangular or not, okay? Let's say this matrix is given to you, right? So first of all, we'll have to check what is the number of rows and number of columns in this matrix, okay? So that would be given, provided by the user, right? So here there are four rows, right? And number of rows is four and number of columns is also four. So if number of rows is N, is equals to equals to m number of columns this is true right four is equals to equals to four that means now we can actually check the zero elements right this this matrix is now qualified to be called as a square matrix okay now what do we do is how do i check the zero elements so let's note down the indexes of all the zero elements it's very simple right let's call the index for the row as i and index for the column as j okay so i have written down here a table right row index and the column index so let's note down all the you know indexes of these zero elements so this is the first zero element row index is zero and the column index is one row index zero column index one for this element row index zero column index two zero two for this one row zero column three okay for this one row one column two row one column two for this one row one column three and for this one the last one in this case row two and column three Okay, so if you observe the indexes here, you can closely observe it, right? Always you see i is less than j, right? i is always less than j. 0 is less than 1, 0 is less than 2, 0 is less than 3, right? So this satisfies with all these cases. Now it's very simple, right? We check if all the elements that satisfies this indexes, right? Whenever the row index is less than the column index, in that case, if all those elements is having the element zero, that means our matrix is a lower triangular matrix, okay? Obviously it has to be a square matrix as well, okay? So with this idea, i less than j is the index that we are going to catch hold of, right? And we are going to check if all the elements in this index are zero. If it is zero, then it's a, it's a lower triangular matrix, otherwise it is not a lower triangular matrix. So let's note down this logic and now let's try to write down a program to demonstrate the same. Okay, this is my program lower triangular.c wherein I'm going to write a program to check if a given square matrix is lower. Okay, so first of all, I need to think about what are the variables I'll be needing. First thing first, I'll be needing a array let's call the array name is a let it be an integer array let's say it can hold a maximum of 10 rows and maximum of 10 columns so it's a 10 cross 10 uh, matrix that i'm actually declaring it here okay so this is my matrix or we call it as a 2d array we represent the matrix in the form of 2d array okay so then i'll be needing a variable n representing number of rows m representing number of columns okay i is the variable for taking care of my row index and j is the variable for taking care of my column index so i think these many variables are sufficient for us if anything else is needed while coding we'll be deciding on that so first of all i need to input my array right so before we input the array we'll ask the user enter the row and column size because this is what we need first right row size and column size so let's scan the row and column size okay obviously these values should be always 
less than equals to 10 number of rows should be less than equals to 10 and column also should be less than equals to 10 because while we have defined the array it is maximum it can hold 10 cross 10 uh, matrix okay so i'll scan it here percentage d percentage d okay m percent n is number of rows m percent m is number of columns because user may sometimes enter the matrix which is not a square matrix right in that case we'll have to make a check here right so this is the first thing i scan then i'll have to ask the user to enter all the elements but before i ask the user to enter all the elements let's try to check if the matrix is square or not check if the matrix is square matrix how do i check if the matrix is square matrix it's very simple if m is equals to equals to n that means number of rows and number of columns are same right if this is the case then it's a square matrix okay otherwise what do you do otherwise i have to uh, ask the user to enter the square matrix one more time so i'll write a condition here like this if m n i can write n is not equals to m that means number of rows and number of columns are not matching in that case whatever you have entered is not a square matrix so i'll just give a message right your matrix is not a square matrix so if it's not a square matrix what do i do i'll have to ask the user to enter the matrix one more time so i'll go to i'll go to the place where i'll write label one i'll go to this place wherein i ask the user to enter the matrix one more time so it is kind of running a loop here right by using go to right so what i'm doing here is i'm making a check if the matrix is not a square you go and again you ask the user to enter the row and column size so you are guaranteeing that always whatever the user enters m and n should always be the same okay so this is using go to we have already discussed this kind of a program right so once the number of rows and columns are taken i'll have to take the array elements right or the matrix elements so i'll write enter all your elements okay so how many elements user will enter you will be enter entering n squared number of elements right because there are n rows and n columns right so enter all your elements so now i'll run a loop for so how many loops do i need to take the array input right two loops one loop for, loop for taking care of the row this let's write this loop for i equals to zero i less than n i plus plus number of rows is n now number of rows and number of columns are same right so and for j equals to zero j less than m j plus plus here instead of m i could write n also and instead of n i could write m also there's no problem because now we have guaranteed that it is a square matrix so m and n is always same here right so now how do i scan the element it's very simple scan f percent is d and then i write m percent a i subscript g okay so this will scan all those elements so we'll also give a prompt for a user to enter how many elements so enter all your all your percentage d number of elements percentage d elements so what is percentage d i told you that is n times n or we can write n times m also no problem right n rows m columns both are same so if there are n squared number of elements or you can say there are m squared number of elements or you can say there are n into m number of elements right here n and m are same so we can write it anyway okay so we are just entering uh, asking the user to enter the number of elements and then we are taking the elements here right so before we proceed let's try to see if we are getting the correct output of the matrix so let's copy this here okay so output your matrix output your matrix okay before we complete the code we are just following the principle of code a little and test a little we have uh, taken the input so we'll test this part first and then we'll move on with our further code okay so i'll just remove this m percent and after i print the each element i'll give a space and after i print each row each row is printed because i'm printing in a matrix form so i'll print a new line also okay because that will guarantee that it will be printed in a matrix form otherwise it will come it will be printed in a flat form in a in a single line right but if i want to print in a matrix form i have to give a new line after each row so this will print each row after each row is printed i'm printing a new line okay so this is here now let's try to compile this code and see if it works fine this is the lower triangular.c compilation is successful let's run this enter number of rows and number of columns now let's write three rows and four columns see it is saying that your matrix is not a square matrix because i have entered different row and different column so again it is asking me to enter the rows and columns let's write three three so it is saying enter all your nine elements because it's a square matrix so i'll give the numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine and you see this is my 
output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in a matrix form. So this portion of the code is working fine. So we are following the principle of test a little. So we have coded declaring the variables, taking the array input and displaying the matrix, right? So that is what we have coded and we have tested it. It worked fine. Now we'll move on to writing a code to check if the matrix is a lower diagonal matrix. So I'll have to run a loop, right? So I'll have to run a loop. So I'll just copy this uh, code here because this is already here. So I'm going to just copy it like this. Okay. So let me remove this. Let me remove this. Right. So this is where I have to check. Okay. So what I do first is I'll have to check. What do I have to check is if okay so what do i check here what is the condition for uh, lower diagonal we have already discussed that okay look at this the condition is your i index row index must be less than the column index okay and those elements should always be zero so if my row index is less than the column index i'm only concerned about these elements I'm not concerned about other elements, right? So what I do is if i is less than zero. Now to take care of if the element is zero, we'll have one more variable here. Okay, let's let's have this variable called as is zero. This is the integer variable. So let's declare it here at the top. Okay, I can declare it here also. All right, int is zero. Initially is zero is initialized to one. That means I'm assuming that elements are zero. Elements are zero. Okay, I'm assuming that elements are zero. Whenever is zero is one, I'm assuming assuming that elements is zero. Okay, whenever is zero is zero, then element is not zero. Okay, so I'll write if i is less than j. Okay, I'll check if the element. How do I access the element a i j? If a i j is not equals to zero, that means element is not zero here. Right here, element is not zero. Element is not zero. So my is zero now becomes zero because element is not zero now right if element is not zero this means is zero is zero that means is zero is false if zero is false means element is not zero so at the end of this loop at the end of this loop this for loop what is going to happen is i can have two scenario right i can have two scenario one scenario is is zero can be zero okay and another scenario is is zero can be one if is zero is one that means all elements above your diagonal is zero that means here it is actually not zero okay so now i just have to have a if statement here right now so right if my is zero equals equals to one that means the element is zero all the elements are zero that means i'll print printf uh, your matrix is lower triangular okay so this is done i'll also write the else part here in the else part what do i do is i'll print that your matrix is not a lower triangular okay so i'm just displaying both the messages if and else lower triangular and not a lower triangular okay let's try to compile this code let's run this okay let's say i have three cross three so let me give some values one two zero three four seven uh, zero three four so it's saying the matrix is not a lower triangle. If you look at this matrix, this is not a lower triangle, right? All the elements above uh, the diagonal is not zero. This is not zero, two is not zero, seven is not zero. This is not a lower triangular matrix. So it is giving the output correctly, okay? So this is fine. Now let's try to give one more input and see if it works fine. Let me have a three cross three matrix, okay? One, zero, zero, three, two, zero, four, five, six, okay? So if you look at this matrix, this is a lower triangular matrix because all the elements above the main diagonals are zero this is zero this is zero and this is zero right so this program works really fine okay and i hope you have understood first of all you know how to devise your logic and how to take the uh, matrix as an input okay and how to do the validation right if the number of rows and number of columns are not matching i'm using the go to to do the validation right i'm making sure that the the matrix that is being entered by the user is a square matrix okay so i'm using go to for that okay and i'm using a loop to take the array input okay and then we've we have tested uh, the output here so we have also learned how to display the array in a matrix form if the array is 2d array okay and then we have written our own logic to check if the matrix is lower diagonal by checking all the elements above the diagonal to be zero okay so this is the logic for the same and finally here we are displaying the output okay so that's all in this lecture in this lecture uh, we've learned how to work with 2d array how to take the input how to do the processing and how to display the and how to display the array in the matrix form okay so that's all in this lecture stay tuned